Hi everyone, welcome back again. Uh, still continuing on with the engine. Uh, just put the sump back on it. I noticed I missed a bit of paint there. That's the trouble working in a dark, dingy garage and trying to rush it before you're trying to go home. But anyway, in the minute, I'm just going to put these core plugs in. So we'll do one of them. Bit awkward with the light, but well, I can't do much about that. <clears throat> just put a bit of Ilamar on them. I've got another tube of this somewhere. I really need to find that in a minute. Hopefully there's enough in this one to do do all of these, but I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. Oh yeah, just run a bit of that round there. Pop that in there. And with a socket slightly smaller, we'll just knock it in, knock them in. Yeah, just doing so flush, good enough, and just a touch more. I've also got a couple of new ones of these as well, a couple of new taps. Which go, where do they go? Good question. I can't I see where they go. That's a mount. They don't both go on the other side, do they? One there. That one there. Oh, it's there. Right in front of me. Yeah, it goes in there. So put them in, in a bit as well. But, I'm not going to film doing all of these. Just thought I'd show you that one there. Right, so as you can see, I've got them core plugs in now. So I'm going to put these in now. Just try and get. I can't find the other top bit of. Blue Island mask, so I just want to put a little bit of this around the threads. Ugh, prefer that dropping it. Just enough. I'll stick that one in this side. Wait a minute. Right, so we just nip that up. I think these are tapered anyway, so don't want to over tighten them. Only really replacing them because I'm mullered. The old one's getting them out of the block. Oh yeah, that's all good. All right. Not that we'll ever use them, but at least they're there. Doing the one up on the other side now. Oh. 
Ja, så kødt. Og der står jeg med kogplugs ind. Jeg flipper over nu. Og jeg vil se, hvad jeg skal gøre næst. Well, I've got it flipped out the other way now, and despite what I said in the last video about not putting the push rods and everything in it yet, and the cam followers in it yet, I am going to basically because I want to be able to spin the oil pump to make sure I've got the oil pressure up. So I've got so I know I've got oil all up to the rockers and everything, and once I know that, then then I won't won't be so worried about putting it all in. Uh, the preload, I'm not sure what to do, I might, I might check it, but it's still got standard heads in the same gaskets and everything, so there's no reason why it should be out now anyway. But, we'll see, I might check it, just to be sure. There's plenty of videos on YouTube explaining how to do the preload anyway. You got Nitro Silver, who who's into the SD1 Rovers. He's explained about how to do it. And there's also I think it's Church Church House Classics, Ch some, something like that. And he's into Land Rovers and Range Rovers and all that sort of stuff. And he goes into it in great detail. So so I'll probably if I do check it, you won't see it. Because I'd rather not confuse the situation. Right, anyway, I think what I'll do, I'll go, I'll go over the bench and I'll strip down the other set of rockers, clean them up, and then we can put the cam followers and everything in. Right then, so, rockers. There's not much to it really, it's all quite obvious how it all comes apart. The pedestals are held on the shafts just by the bolts that hold it to the edge. So we we'll pull all them out, hopefully. What you've got to make sure you do is keep it all in order. Obviously because we're using the same... Oh, I can't get that one out. Yeah, obviously we've got to keep it in order because we're using the same push rods, rockers, valves. And even though there's like a little bit of wear on these valves, in my mind I'd rather have a little bit of wear because there's not any on the shaft hardly. I'd rather have a little bit of wear on there than ending up buying the cheap rubbish rockers that are breaking about 10 minutes. So, so yeah, I just want to take this apart and clean it up, he says. Right, the other, the other thing as well, this one is for the right hand bank. And there's like a little knot, there's like a little mark up in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see that. Just there. That mark on the right hand bank should face the front. And on the left hand bank it should face the rear. Right, but then if you've got aftermarket parts, then it might not have that on there. So from what I can make out, the oil ways along this shaft, in that case, should all face down towards the valley, towards the camshaft, so they're not at the top, because apparently if they're at the top, you're not going to get the oil up to the rockers. I hope that makes sense. Right, yeah, I still can't get these out. Oh. Now, so I've just been trying to get that out and it just pulled out straight away then. Right. These are a bit of a pain to get apart, mainly because they've been in there so long. What I really need to do is try and punch that through. That one's 
slightly smaller. Don't like using what's at hand. Right, so that's out. I'll clean them bolts out in a bit. What I need to do, like I said, is keep them in order. Let's get a bit of cardboard. So, what we remember now, keep them in order, notch this end. So, I'll start this end. Split pin in the end. Obviously, we're putting a new split pin in. You've got a washer and like a spring washer. So keep that at that end, pull the first one off, remembering that all of the rockers, well, the, va the, the valve end of the rocker are all facing me. Just so I can keep it in order really, and then we're just Got a tack. The pedestal. Okay, we keep that there? Because that one was there, next to that one. I don't know if you can see it now. I've hit it too far over. That's better. Right. Then the next rocker there, the spring. And then another rocker. All the time keeping them in order. I say if you're building that up new then it doesn't matter. But there's very I mean there's a very tiny bit of wear in that shaft but it really doesn't warrant changing it. And it you know I think it's fine. I'm I'm more than happy with it. And we just move on to the next one again. Trouble is these pedestals go over a bit where they bolt it down. As long as we can get them off without breaking, it's fine. <clears throat> Is that one off? Then the next rocker. Then the next spring, and another rocker, right now that pedestal, 
I'm now going to leave that one on there for the minute anyway and then I'm going to undo the other end we'll see same again split pin Give her a split pin, washer, spring washer, and now obviously when I put it down there I'll need to make sure I don't mix it up. Then move all of that along a bit. Considering how old this is, they're in remarkably good condition. There's that pedestal off, and that rocker. I've run out of cardboard here. That's fine. That spring, our rocker, and then the last pedestal. Which I will take off, I think. Because I just want to clean the oilways and stuff out. That's it, last one. So we're left with a shaft. Alright, all I'm going to do a bit of brake cleaner, a grey pad, this is all I've done on the other side, just to give it a bit of a clean really. You have it, yeah it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Just want to get the brake cleaner through all the holes. Do a bit more in there really. Make sure there's nothing blocked up. There isn't, so that's good. Let's clean that end out a bit so I can show you that maybe a bit clearer. Well, yes, in case you didn't pick it up on camera earlier, still probably can't, but you can see the mark on there so that on the right hand bank needs to be at the front like I was saying the holes along here the smaller holes which all feed the oil to the rockers they all need to face down towards the valley 
So in other words, the top of the pedestal is like here and not here because then these oil holes look of and then over facing this way which is like facing up towards the top of the engine and that's wrong they need to be down that facing down that way whatever side either side whatever side they are whether you've got that mark facing the back for the left hand or the front for the right hand I hope that makes sense this is all new to me as well to be honest I've read up a lot about it because <laughs> I didn't want to do it wrong. Right, so now all I need to do is go through all of this lot and clean it up. So I'm going to clean it up and then I'll be back and I'll reassemble it all, which is just the same as how I just took it apart, so it's pointless really, but there you go. Right. See you in a minute. Right, well, hopefully, you can see, but I'm still in the middle of cleaning these up. So, these are all the ones I've cleaned. All I've been doing is like using a little wire brush, brake flip, brake, not brake flip, brake cleaner. So that's one I haven't cleaned. Still got these ones to do. I'm not getting carried away, do you know what I mean? I'm just getting cleaning the worst off. And just giving them a bit of a check over really, just to make sure that there's no cracks or anything silly like that. <clears throat> Which I'm sure there isn't. But yeah. I'll just clean these ones and then we'll put it back together. Right, so we got all this lot cleaned up now. So just gonna get basically just a little cap full of oil. Don't need a lot. <clears throat> See that's the oil that's going in it anyway fairly soon oh these gloves are horrible Right, so I'm actually going to sort of start in the middle, well, sort of in the middle. So I should start with this pedestal, which you go here. So, we've got a little mark, so that's going to be the front. So these are pointing down, so it needs to go on that way. He's tight. Excuse me a sec. Oh, you couldn't really see anything then. Maybe that that's that one there. So just get a little bit of oil. Just lube it up. See, we're in the right place. Because we've got all my oil ways pointed downwards. And you've got to go on that way. So the valve is this side. We just slip that on. Very good. 
rocker, spring. Okay, a bit more oil. Okay, spring. Rocker. And the next pedestal. Oh, it's not ideal because you can't really see what I'm doing. But I think you can probably guess. That's it. So that's the next one on there. Get my oil. That one on there. And we're finding a new split pin. Bear with me, just find the right. I think it's these ones. No, they're too big as well. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's not them ones. Must be these ones then. Yeah, there we go. You just put the spring washer on, normal washer on. And I'll put the split pin in from the top. <clears throat> I think I might move you back up the top where you was before. That's it. The first bit done. Right, like I say, I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna put the camera back up so it's looking down. Because I think it'd be better, you'll be able to see more. Is that better? Hopefully. Right, so a bit more oil. Next rocker. Spring, another rocker, there's no two them really, just got to remember to put everything, keep everything, you know, in order, otherwise you end up with a world of pain. Oh, 
That's it, we got it in there. Right, that. Uh, next rocker and the next spring we'll put a bit more oil on there first and that rocker in the last pedestal Final bit. The last rocker on there. By spring. Washer. And the split pin. Right, that's it. Ready to go on now. All built up. I know it's not all brand new or anything, but at least we know it's all nice. No horrible gunky oil on it. Made sure the oil weighs are free. So when we try and build up the oil pressure, hopefully we should it, it's not going to restrict it anywhere. And we get plenty of oil out the top end. Right, next job I think, cam followers in. So I'll meet you over by the engine. Right, this isn't going to be very easy to film because I can't really get my camera up high enough. But basically, we're going to put all the cam followers in now. Yeah. I don't know what else I was going to say, I was going to say something and then I forgot, so... This is me, got eight in that box, eight in the other box. They do appear to be pre-oiled because there's loads of oil in this box. Right, so obviously I've got my cam lube again as well. We'll put a nice dollop of it. I don't really want to put cam lube on the side because it, it's really gooey so whether this is the right thing to do or not I don't know but 
I'm just going to put a bit of engine oil on the sides because these need to be able to turn All of the old ones come out quite nicely to be honest anyway so I don't really see there being any problems. drop one then that would have been a problem though wouldn't it It probably isn't very exciting. for a minute all of them in that side
You can see they're all sliding in there nicely. Look at it, he says. Plenty of cam lube on the end of them. Oh, that much on about on all of them. Bit of engine all around the sides. That's it, last one. We still got plenty of cam cam lube as well, so I will still do what I said about pouring it down in the middle before I initially, you know, near nearer to when it's going to be fired up. But that's them in. So I'm gonna go and clean the push rods up and then get them on. So I've done the right hand bank, but as you can see, dirty grubby rockers, they're all, they're all in order. So this is the front, left, left hand bank, all I've been doing, just a bit of brake cleaner on my rag. giving them a bit of a wipe over really as you can see they come up pretty good and then I've just been I put some engine build lube not the cam lube but the green look engine build stuff in the top of each of these And now that's in the way. Remove this. But as you can see on this one, just putting a bit in, then just giving them a little spin in each hole. And I should put some at the top as well when I put the rockers on. But I've just remembered that there's a plate that goes on. It's like a splash plate. I don't know what you call it really. And I need to clean that up as well before I can put the rockers on. But yeah, I need to take this off. So we can... Just rest it down there for a minute. And we just drop that in through there. So, I'll get them in. Now I'll clean them plates up and then I'll get the rockers on. So I just cleaned up the first one of these splash panel, whatever you want to call them, for the rockers. 
It's amazing what a bit of brake cleaner can do because a couple of minutes ago it looked like that. And now it's lovely. Cleaned up nicely. So we'll do that one. And then we'll get them all on there. Right, so I didn't film that bit, I got a bit too distracted, but I, like I said, I checked the preload, it's all good. This was a, this took ages, but I've checked the preload, obviously, and after I bolted all the rockers down, and that's all good, which I expected it to be anyway, because the head's never been skimmed, still using the original type of head gasket, and I've just... Turn the engine by hand a couple of times. Nothing touches, which I didn't expect it to, because there's, there's no reason why it, why it would, unless I've done something wrong. So now I've turned it so that it's on compression stroke, so that I shouldn't need to turn it again now. So it's on top dead centre on compression stroke, because it's off of the cam on this cylinder so yeah so that should mean that when I come to that point that I can put a distributor in but that's obviously not yet right so next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get some oil in it I think and then I can prime it up Mate, hopefully we get all up to all the rockers and then I think I'm about done with it until it's in the car well I've still got to put the exhaust manifolds on and the engine mounts on can't really put it in the car without the engine mounts on can I right so that's where we are it's all going well right so I've topped it out of oil now I've filled the oil filter out of oil as well obviously the, the oil pumps packed with Vaseline and I'm sure many of you know anyway but you can prime the oil pump I don't know if you're going to be able to see I'm trying to use my phone Oops. press the off button on the camera then you can see down there the drive from the distributor because the camshaft drives the distributor which then drives the oil pump so we're going to spin this and hopefully get some oil circulating around the engine and build up a bit of pressure and then we'll know it's prime then for when we get it in. Right, cool, let's have a go. Right, I was trying to find somewhere so you could actually see what I was doing but this is about the best it can get. Right. So the dribbers dis... The distributor goes, that's not very really good is it? Well, I might have to go and grind these bits off of that. Right, a little bit of adjustment, I'll be back. Right, that's better, drill is running true now. So, Alright, hopefully the drill's got enough oomph. Do it. We didn't even turn the bloody pump yet. I can see why it has a tube up the side of it now normally.
I can hear it making gurgly noises, so that's got to be a good sign, I think. Yeah, definite, definite gurgle noises. If I could keep it on there, that'd be great. Oh, definitely doing something. I think the battery, I think it is doing something. I thought my battery was going down, but I don't think it is. I think it's the oil pressure building up. I'm going to see if I can find something to go around this. Right, so I stopped filming there while I was doing that. Um, I did manage to get the oil up, but not quite as much as what I would have hoped. But my drill has burnt out. So at this precise moment, I haven't got like a normal drill here or any other drill that I can try it with at the minute. So I'm sure it's fine because there was oil starting to come up. Well, it was coming up, but unfortunately, my drill started smoking. So I've just carried on. I pop. I haven't put any gaskets or anything on these. These are just purely on there to keep the dust and stuff out. So I've got the mounts on there. Got the exhaust manifolds on there. So you've already seen a fuel for the oil filters on there, the other exhaust mount, manifold. So basically now I'm ready to get the engine sat in there. I don't think I'm going to bother to try and pump the oil up anymore because it'll be fine because it's already started coming up so I'm going to get the flywheel and that on it and then get the gearbox tidy the gearbox up a bit and then then we can get it sat in there and hopefully in the near future get it running but yeah I'm not doing that today so for today that is it so you made it this far well done and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you want to be notified of any new videos coming out and if you like it hit the like button right so, until next time, see you later.